Hey guys, recently there was a controversy of whether or not Full Art Lands would be in Shadows over Innistrad Fat Packs. Uh, the con controversy was a result of them copy and pasting probably Battle for Zendikar's description of the Fat Pack box. You would expect that a large company like Wizard of the Coast would have better copy editors, but who knows? I think the copy editor they did have passed away a year ago and they may not have hired or trained a appropriate um, replacement. But anyway, the interesting part about this statement is the 84R basic lands isn't the 4R basic lands, it's the number 80. So O for the Gatewatch has 84, not 80, 84. So they would have to have copied and pasted from Battle for Zendikar, which kind of doesn't make sense if it's a editor, because why would they copy and paste from the next set over? Wouldn't they just copy and paste from the most recent set? Anyway, there's been some speculation, and I feel like it is right. I do feel like we deserve full art Innistrad lands. Innistrad swamps would be amazing. The Innistrad, I mean, full art lands or just Zendikar, and then unglued sets that's cannot be right like every single four land we've had comes from a joke set or an unglued set <laughs> sorry a joke set or a zendikar set but now if we look at the product and we look at the lands they seem to be regular lands now that being said they have made mistakes in the past where they put in regular lands when it should have been full art and vice versa i don't know i'm still holding out a probably less than 1% chance that we will get full art lands in Shadows over Innistrad. I think it would be fantastic because Zendikar and the unglued sets, the unsets, that can't be the only place we have full art lands, right? I mean, there's other planes that really, really need them. So I don't know. I like it. I, I like the concept and I do hope that this is actually true. I doubt it's true, but I hope it is true.